Where to invest your money to earn passive income? In today's video, I'm going to talk about six investments in the Philippines that can boost your passive income through dividends. Let's get started. Number six is ALFM Global Multi Asset Income Fund. This fund invests globally in equities, fixed income securities, and money market instruments. Ideal ang fund na ito for investors who are looking for a stable stream of dividends without sacrificing long-term capital growth. Ang annualized dividend rate ng fund na ito based on my experience is 5.7% monthly ang distribution ng dividend. This fund is suitable for investors with aggressive risk profile. Pwede ka mag-invest ng fund na ito sa GCash. So pumunta ka lang sa G-Invest, G-Funds, then look for ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. Ang minimum investment to start is 1,000 pesos. So pwede ka rin mag-invest sa ALFM website mismo or sa BPI. Nakabili ako ng additional fund sa First Metrosec. Ang previous na management fee ay nasa 1% per year, pero in-increase na nila from 1% to 1.5% per year sa so effective February 2024. At yung management fee will be incorporated sa NAVPU ng fund. Number 5 is BAND. BAND is a fixed income instrument that represents a loan made by an investor to a borrower. There are different types of bonds. Meron government bonds, meron ding corporate bonds. So, mayayari, magpapautang ka ng pera mo sa government or sa company pag meron silang bond offering. And in return, yung borrower, so either government or company, will pay fixed amount of interest. And then, ibabalik nila ang principal mo upon maturity. Ang interest ay nasa 5 to 7% per annum. Bonds are considered to be one of the less risky ways of growing your money. The only risk that comes with investing in bonds, particularly mga corporate bonds, is if the company that issued the bond declares bankruptcy. While rare, it's still a possibility and therefore considered as a risk. Kaya kung mag-invest ka sa bonds, doon ka lang sa mga malalaki at stable companies magpautang para lower ang risk. Pwede kang bumili ng bonds sa mga banks when the government or a company announces a bond offering. Most of the major banks in the Philippines offer bonds and other fixed income products. So if you're interested, then punta ka lang sa bank and i-check mo if they offer any bonds or fixed income products. Pwede rin makabili ng bonds online through a mobile app. So i-download mo lang ang bonds.ph app ng Union Bank. And then, mag-register ka sa app para pwede ka makabili ng van pag merong van offering. Number four, preferred shares. Preferred shares, also known as preferred stock, is a class of stock that is granted superior rights to common stock. So, higher dividends and higher claims to assets in the event of liquidation. Yung investment na ito is suitable for investors who prefer to receive regular dividends and have stable income stream. Quarterly ang payment ng dividends sa preferred shares, ang dividend rate ay nasa 6 to 9% per annum. Pero merong tax na 10%, which is lower versus yung tax sa bond na 20%. Mag-invest ka sa preferred shares for the dividends kasi hindi masyadong tumataas ang share price ng preferred shares at hindi rin masyadong bumababa. Kailangan doon ka sa mga malalaki at stable companies bumili ng preferred shares. You can buy preferred shares through the Philippine Stock Exchange. When companies offer them, pwede kang mag-subscribe through your broker. Pero kung hindi ka nakabili ng nagkaroon ng preferred shares offering, pwede ka rin bumili ng preferred shares the same way that you buy common stocks. Kaya lang ang preferred shares are not traded frequently. Kaya yung volume of trade is low. Number three is Pag-ibig MP2. Isinama ko ang Pag-ibig MP2 kasi sa MP2 merong option to withdraw your dividend annually. 
pipili ka ng dividend payout mo pag nag-open ka ng MP2 account. Ang dividend ng MP2 ay nasa 6 to 8% per ano. Tax-free ang dividend sa MP2. Kaya mas malaki ang kikitain mo compared to bonds. MP2 is a low-risk investment kaya suitable ito for conservative investors who want to preserve their capital while earning dividends. Para makapag-invest ka sa MP2, kailangan pag-ibig fund member ka. Okay? And then pwede ka mag-open ng MP2 account online or pwede ka rin pumunta sa any pag-ibig fund na branch to open an account. Meron na akong tutorial video on how to open and validate your MP2 account online. So watch mo na lang ang video ko kung wala ka pang MP2 account. Number 2, REITs. So REITs are companies that own and operate real estate properties. You can buy shares in a REIT and REITs will let you earn money through cash dividends. Ang payment schedule ng REITs ay quarterly. So, meron kang makukuhang quarterly na dividend pag mag invest ka sa REITs. Mataas ang dividend yield ng REITs. So, nasa 7.5 to 9.96%. Yan lang meron tax na 10%. And then, ang kagandaan sa REITs, so meron ding potential for capital appreciation. Kaya pwede kang kumita from dividends and capital appreciation pag tumaas ang share price. You can buy REITs through the Philippine Stock Exchange. So, kailangan mo ng trading account sa broker para makapag-invest ka sa REITs. At pwede ka na rin pala mag-invest sa REITs gamit ang iyong GCash. So, meron GStocks PH. So, kailangan mo mag-register kung wala ka pang account doon. Pwede na rin mag-invest sa REITs gamit ang iyong Maya. So, meron ng Maya Stocks. I like Maya Stocks kasi pag nag-open ka ng Maya Stocks account, pwede mong ma-access sa Philstocks ang account mo. So, both sa website or sa mobile app ng Philstocks Financial. So, pwede kang mag-buy and sell ng stocks diretso na sa Philstocks. Number one for me is dividend stocks. You can earn income from dividend stocks by investing in shares of companies na nagdi-distribute ng portion of their profits to shareholders in the form of cash dividends. Malaki rin ang potential na mag-appreciate ang price ng dividend stocks kaya pwede kang kumita from dividends and capital appreciation pag tumaas ang share price. Kaya lang ang dividend stock investing requires work on the part of the investor. It's important to understand how the stock market works at kung fit ba ito sa yung overall financial strategy. So you can buy dividend stocks through the Philippine Stock Exchange. So same sa REITs and preferred shares. So kailangan mo ng trading account para makapag-invest ka sa dividend stocks. Pero ngayon, pwede ka na rin mag-invest gamit ang yung GCash sa GStocks PH at sa Maya. So, gamit ang Maya Stocks. Pa-like and share na rin and I'll see you in my next video.